The Acropolis district is off limits. Move along. Mind if I take a breather? I'm pretty tired after hauling around all these bits. You could have asked me, you know. What in the law's name are you on about? Wow, that's a that's lot. That's a lot. This is embarrassing. I was going to bribe you, but I just realized I don't have enough on me. Honest mistake. Why don't you come back another time and we can take this from the top? <laughs> I'm not looking for trouble. I just want in. Yeah, and I'd really like a new Hammersmith grenade launcher. Hammersmith, the most trusted brand in brutality. But we can't all have what we want. And seeing as you don't seem the executive sort, you obviously don't belong in the Acropolis district. That's some brilliant logic. You should be promoted. Hey, I've been trying to get a post at the HHC, but they keep turning me down on account of my odious interpersonal skills. Or something. Anyway, I've worked here long enough to know every clerk by name and face. And since I don't know yours, you ain't getting through. You don't know me because I'm new to the job. I'm starting at the ministry tomorrow. You're new to the ministry? You one of those lab coats they promoted from a company town? You ever heard of Stimulotion? I developed the active compound. That was yours? Wow. You earned that promotion, all right. So you start tomorrow, huh? You know, they should have set you up with an ID six to eight weeks ago. I know, I know, but it never arrived. I tried to file a complaint. But then you had to wait six to eight weeks for the complaint form to arrive. Hey, remember that time I said I was going to bribe you? Yeah, <laughs> all right. You're good to go. Uh, hold on. Stop right there. This area is off limit. Liar is the thing. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. <laughs> Aww. Hmm. A UDL security attendant is always prepared. That's one. A UDL security it's two. Attendant is always prepared. Ah. Uh, uh, Someone needs to teach those iconoclasts a lesson for what they did to our gun tank. <laughs> Are you ghost? No, they're not ghost. Are you ghost? You're not ghost. Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Not without signing a waiver. Okay. Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Not without signing a waiver. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I shouldn't talk. Not without signing. Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Sorry. 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 Sorry, it's a talk. good, honest communication. Uh -huh. Goodness gracious. Okay. Um, I'm okay with ignoring this one for a bit. Sure. Yeah, they're probably going to be in the Undertown. Yeah. Just walk right... Right by him. Yep. <clears throat> Are you Ghost? You're not Ghost. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Roll your eyes and sigh dramatically. I... Oh. Oh. You mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? Well, let's keep this moving. You have information for me. Yeah, you're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. There's got to be a way to catch the Minister someplace less protected. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. 
I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? Seven. Work specialists, huh? Exactly seven. Our mutual friend is really branching out. Can you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, so what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do Maybe. some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. That's theft, not reconnaissance. Whatever. I'm better with bird terms. How exactly did you get involved in all this anyway? Birds. I've always been fascinated by birds. I was right. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. When they die off, it's a sign that something's wrong. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. Like what? For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? It does. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Seems pretty normal, actually. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. Regular tragedy. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? No, that's how things go around Halcyon, in case you didn't notice. Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Looks like I've got work to do. I think I've figured out what you need. Was I just smoking some privacy? Our crew is like a machine. All the parts got to work together or we'll shake ourselves to pieces. All three of them. I've never yep. been good with a metaphor as far Well, life. Ada. We need yeah. each other to work hard. You need a team. And I need someone who will be truthful with me. Even when it hurts. The only thing I need is people staying the hell out of my business. If that were true, you wouldn't be here. Oh. Really funny. You dropped a wrench on your head or something? Did you? I only wish they were like two hours ago. No can do. Sure. I'm coming. What's that in the block my friend? Now with added quality in it. Oh good. I'm glad that they're selling ammunition in these vending machines. Yeah. What would you have done if you couldn't find ammunition here? Yeah, I've hardly any. <clears throat> it's so hard to come by. Mm -hmm. 
Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Oh. Pre-approved banner? How could I resist? Request confirmed. Banter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House oh, of Creation. Did you know that I am a priceless heirloom, custom built for the Billingsley family? Please remember to thank Mr. Billingsley for allowing you to bask in my presence. Standard banter, yep. Mm -hmm. Interesting, I'll bear that in mind. Someone needs to teach those iconoclasts a lesson for what they did to our gunship. You have a rather exotic presence. A new Auntie Cleo's facial mask, perhaps? Or experimental pheromones? Oh, there's Mr. Billingsley. Can we compliment him on his robot? Gotta, gotta scope the scene out first. Make sure... Make sure everything's safe and secure. Can't steal the zero-G. Only one way to talk. Have you tried our new <laughs> cocktail sponsored by Rizzo? <laughs> one part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. I could use a drink. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant, um, located just over there. What? Why? Aren't you the bartender? Quite so. But I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. Hmm. My auto mechanical assistant does all the work for me. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, by all means, ask away. I love this angle. I should go. I don't want to compliment him on his robot anymore. No. Hey, 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 stand back. You, I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you got to keep five feet back at all times. I'm down. I was just looking for the bathroom. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Good thing, too, because I may be headed what? there soon. Right, right here. Right here. Celebrate right here. Account of me just getting hired and all. Uh, what's so important about guarding Mr. Clark? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah, that means I got a key to the minister's estate. My own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. A key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. How about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea. Out of a spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a spectrum vodka for a new pal? Here's to your promotion. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We need to be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Probably. Let's have another. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? 
Wow! You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. That's normal. Let's have another. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. This angle is just really good. <laughs> yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple very crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. Just uh, walk calmly to a bench. What? Oh. oh. Well. Can't handle well, this alcohol. Okay. 